Let's get back inside. Hey, there's a dent right there. Oh, my baby. You need new body work. You need rocker panels. <sighs> Engine needs rebuilt. Oh, you need a lot of work, baby girl. Yes, you do. It's okay. When I have the time, we'll get everything done. You just have to last. At least until the F-150 Lightning comes out. Then you get the rest. Han, getting ready to leave today and start the flex. I have two new lights and a new message. Service advance track. And she likes to beep at me. We're racking mileage up and we're racking up lights. That's right. We have an ABS and a traction control fault. My gut feeling, it's going to be a speed sensor. Three of these speed sensors are original with over 200,000 miles on them, and one of them was replaced in this video. But to know what sensor it is, I load up Forescan, and Forescan tells me that it's the right rear speed sensor. To confirm that, I pull live data, <laughs> and I start recording. Now, as soon as I do that, the system acts fine and I don't have any issues. I'm out on the road, approaching a red light, I start to slow down, and I have a touch of ABS activation, which under 30 miles an hour, on drive pavement, you're not activating ABS. Look at Forescan, and we have this. 39 miles an hour is the right rear tire, and the other three are at zero. So, with that confirmed that it is that sensor, let's get into this video because that connector is going to be a pain in the ass to replace. It's smashed between the fuel tank and the subframe, leaving me with little room to work. And I don't have a hoist, so we're going to be tricky ricky and put this on the platform and try to take or try to replace this sensor without taking off the tire. Let's see how that goes shall we now that we're under here here's the speed sensor eight millimeter bolt here's the wiring we're gonna pull you down and go free-handed without a light oh and where's my connection oh the connection The connection's right there. So, we're gonna start over here. So I'm gonna be Tricky Ricky, and I'm gonna cut. I have everything hanging on my face. Everything is just hanging in my face. Okay, so I have a zip tie right here that I need to cut. Okay, we're gonna try and cut. Come on, there we go. I put any C's on the speed sensor so that if I had to remove it again, I could remove it. Now, I guess I could have jacked the vehicle up and take the tire off, and that might make it easier. But this is YouTube. Did we ever do anything easy? Well, the bolt's coming undone. And I can unscrew it with my hand. Yay! That's actually not that bad. Now, hopefully that sensor comes out. And, ooh, yeah! It comes right on up. Okay, well, don't come off this thing. And I have to re... There we go. Now we're dangling. 
It doesn't look that bad. Wonder why it was bad. Ouch, just smashed my head into the exhaust. So there's our gas tank, sway bar, end of my finger is the speed sensor connector. With rust falling on my face. How the hell do I get that connector? Disconnect. Okay, so right here. Boy, this is really in a tough spot, like I said earlier. Oh, I think I got it. I also think I got a whole lot of rust falling on my face, too. Sweet. Okay, so to disconnect, because we're connected, we're disconnected here. Oh, are you like in the frame right there? Watch my hand. Excuse me. Get in my way. I don't need more rust. I have enough iron in my damn diet. Ah. Oh. All right. So right here is this connector. At the top of it, I don't know what you're gonna be able to see. So right here at the top of this, where my end of my finger is at, is a little clasp that you're gonna push down and that will release it. Okay, so right here's this speed sensor. And I can't really tell, at least it kind of like, trying to figure out, oh, I need a pry tool. I gotta pry that up. Cause that's like zip tied right there to the frame, right here. It's got a mount to the frame. So we gotta loosen that up somehow. I'm gonna get a little bigger one and see if I can't loosen that up as I try to move the light around so that I can see what the hell I'm doing. So you may not be able to see what I'm really doing and what I'm not doing. But that's the idea is well, this is a bit because that parking cable right here is awesome in my way. Because there's really not a lot of room up in here. All right, let's see if I can't knock everything off in my face. No, there's really, I can't go from the other end. This is a pain in the ass. Oh, maybe we go from right here. Okay. So the parking cable is in my way though. Oh my God. Really? It really is in my way. This is... Oh. See this cable? It's in my way. Focus. Oh, maybe you won't go to see it too much. It's focusing on my hand. Focus on the thing. Here at the edge of this. It's got like a Christmas tree fastener into the subframe right here. And I don't have a way of really getting it out. I would say this, dropping this gas tank would be a royal pain in my ass too as is knocking everything into my face. If this bracket wasn't here, this job would be so much easier. No, there's no play in this cable for nothing. Otherwise, watch me cut this cable and leave whatever the hell was in that subframe right there. Cause I'm about lost my patience. Not to mention, this is a fuel tank. I really don't want to puncture that. Ow. Oh, I broke it. Hey, look. Preservation, preservation, preservation. Whatever the hell the word is. It worked. 
Now we need to take this cable out and knock more shit in my face. All right, old one's out, new one's in, or going in. We have our new cable. We're going to feed it up over the subframe. So, yeah. See that Christmas tree right there? That's what's stuck up there. And if you think I'm gonna put this in that hole, not a chance in hell. So I broke this part off. Can we zoom up there? Enhance. Yes, we can. Pointing apparatus. So right here, you can see this plastic is broke. So that's the Christmas tree that's in the subframe. Unenhanced. There we go. So we're going to lose my mind. I guess I should have seen how this was over the subframe. Can I go this way? Yeah. We're going to feed it up over. Back more stuff in my face. The story of my life. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So that goes there. White connector here is going to go into our new connector right here. Somehow. Lights in my way. Knocking more rust off my subframe. I think my, my flex just lost like 40 pounds worth of rust here. Oh, shoot. How does this go on? Okay, so if you can see, these tabs face up, I think. Nope. These tabs, oh, you can't even see. All right, I moved you slightly out of my way. I'm going to figure out, I need some more slack here. And... I'm going to push that connector in like that. Okay. No, like that. I think I'm in. Is that what she said or is that what he said? Okay. With it connected. We now have our speed sensor here. There is supposed to be another Christmas tree I thought <sighs> my god I'm not sure where but I thought this is another Christmas tree right here on your control arm but nonetheless we're gonna push this into our bracket right here so that holds that in place ow we put a new speed sensor in with a little bit of any C's, just a touch. Really don't need a whole lot. I'm gonna put it around the edge of this, like that. So I put the anti C's on, I'm gonna put it back in its hole. Another, find the hole in the dark. Well, listen, what the hell am I missing? We're gonna go, like, find the hole. Where's the hole? Where, where, where are they? Where is the hole? There we are. We found it. We put that back in, and then we put our bolt back in. Screwdriver? Not screwdriver, wrench. Well, I may also would recommend a ratcheting eight millimeter wrench. And then make sure you zip tie your cable wherever it needs to go. You don't want this cable flapping around. 
that's it. So after I just bolted the sensor down, I realized I kind of had it routed wrong. I had it routed this way and then over. The correct way is right where you between the upper control arm bolt here and this here. There's a hole up there in the subframe where the Christmas tree can go into. And then I had to zip tie mine right here. And then we go back into it right there. That concludes this video, folks. Let me know in the comments on what you thought. How often had you had to replace the speed sensor? And which speed sensor have you had to replace? This guy's original. 11 years old, 205,000 miles. And from the looks of it, it appears to be the hardest one to change. I haven't had to do a front one yet. In the description will be the part number for the speed sensor. Giant box for itty bitty Spencer. And the torque spec, if there is one, for the set screw. With that stuff out of the way, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And whenever you're working under your car, please be safe. Oh my god. That bushing is really shot. Holy crap. Guess I'm replacing the control arm. Actually, I wonder if I can just replace the bushing and not the control arm. Guess that's going to be a pain in the ass. I'll see all of you in the next video, folks. No, I need to get my old ass out from underneath this damn cart. Oh, Jesus.